Hey, y'all. APG Jamie here. And today I have pie for brains. An interactive visual art journal page, even. <laughs> it was fancy smooth talking, wasn't it? Hmm. So anyway, I started with the adornments, if you will, the embellishments, the elements, okay? Um, yeah, I wanted to, to make these tags, and because this is dealing with the brain, I thought I would use a brain stamp, and this particular one, I, I don't know who, who manufactured it, or sold it, or where it came from. But anyway, there is a list of uh, mostly sort of list of ingredients in the description below the video so i stamped the brains on these uh they're, they're called paper key tags okay and they do have a key ring which you saw me remove yada, yada. i'm not putting them back i don't know i'll do them for something else so stamped them not that one. We'll put some UV on there so there'll be, you know, real fancy tags. And then I had this, you know, I'm like, oh, I could put diamonds on them. And the UV resin will uh, set them in place permanently. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I stamp on both the front and the back, in which case now it's a double sided paper key tag oh and they're one and one quarter inch okay that's really the only size i can find so anyway just saying because i looked um let's see what else diamonds uv resin um yeah both sides mm-hmm mm-hmm cures i like this i have tried i know i've said it probably every time i use this stuff on on um on the screen I feel life, whatever. Um, that I had tried three different ones. This was, of course, the third one, and I liked it best. The first one, in my opinion, didn't work at all. The second one was mediocre, and I really wanted faster. So, I went with this. So, now that we've made our, uh, oh, we're still working on, oh, it's a paper clip, y'all. We're still working on our embellishment elements. To put on the uh, visual art journal page that we've not even started just yet. Ha ha ha, y'all. Something special like that. So I have these little scrap strips of uh, white cardstock and we are putting washi tape on there. And I'm trimming them down just a wee bit. Uh, there is a link directly to the paper clips that I have as well as the UV resin. No, I'm not affiliate. I am not affiliated. I just buy there. You know, you know where. Mm-hmm. The store. So, um, we're going to ink around them because that's what we're going to do, y'all. And we're wrapping that around the inside two prongs. You know, paper clips got two outside prongs and two inside prongs. I'm wrapping this around the two inside prongs of the paper clip, the center part, okay? And I'm leaving a gap. Now, this can slide up and down a little bit. Not not a whole lot, just, just a little, okay? I'm using my favorite glue. And uh, we're going to glue one side down and then the other one on top. And because it comes right at that bar and because it is, you know, uh, a printed image on the war washi tape, um, you really can't tell that where it ends at. So it's kind of cool looking loop, if you will. And uh, we're going to use some clamps and clamp it together. We're going to Ellie May it. And we're going to make three of them because that's what I chose to do. <laughs> I think I only show you one and a half. Well, no, you get to see the whole one, but, you know, kind of thing. Because I like paper clips. Because I like altered paper clips. Because I like dangles, diamonds, and brains. I don't eat them. I'm nobody's zombie, I tell you what. So, they're dried enough i wouldn't say they're dry even though i said that word they're dry enough 
and I've got these uh, little ball chain loops came off of um, the little mini pins from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use those because they're very handy because we have them. Okay. And because I don't want them all the exact same length, I am trimming off some of the chain. Okay. And I am looping these through, again, the center piece because now we have a little opening down towards the bottom of it okay that's where I'm looping these you could also put these on a jump ring and then put them on the center part of the paper clip you know so it stays on don't fall off and he said she said so that when you put it on the paper you have the big loop on the back you swing your charms to the front and slide it on and ta-da how cool is that oh and they make a cool noise I did not leave that sound in but I guess I could have probably should have but I didn't so here comes the um, centerpiece for our visual journal page I used uh, a reference image from the computer thanks Google and we have semi drawn an unusual face it is not necessarily in correct proportions but that's not the name of this page this page is not correct proportions this page is called mem brains a sort of pie chart and then it's got the number of pi 3.141592 and so on and so forth okay we will reference those numbers in a little bit Okay, so I've had some weird stuff while doing the voiceover. I don't know where exactly I left off. Anyway, this is the, uh, I use black cardstock to cut out the face and the head. I am painting on it with a uh, dragonfly glaze. There's a list of ingredients in the description box below. It's not a box. In the description below, if I hadn't said that already. Hey, can y'all? Ha! Ah, we didn't miss that one. So we had our head, we uh, cut around the basic face, and we have one of those skull cap. well we have two skull caps, okay? And this one we are drawing our different sections, our different membrane sections, areas, <sighs> whatever you want to call it. It's the pie charts. Uh, the pie chart of this interactive page y'all because it's a pie chart it's just not circle like pie it's sections like a brain like the membranes and I'm using a fluid matte medium so I can collage a napkin to the um, to the brains that represents sort of the insides of the brain y'all there's a lot of stuff plays in this page that I didn't even realize till once I got going on it and then once t I got finished with it I thought and then this and then that and you know my brain stuff <laughs> shine a marker not in the list 10 caps is in the list it is from the hardware section the roofing section of a hardware store okay um yeah they're metal and magnets stick to them. So instead of using a magnet to click to a magnet, you use a magnet to stick to these, okay? So that's why I'm using them. It saves you at least half your magnets. And in this project, I'm using several, many magnets. But I have a package of magnets, and they are tiny, and uh, they are pretty strong. But I still use a lot because I'm going to have different pieces. You saw the sections, right? It's puzzling, isn't it? And I uh, see a lot of puns in here, y'all. It's so funny. So anyway, yeah. And because I don't know where each specific magnet's going to be, I'm hoping with the coverage of the tin caps inside the head, <laughs> ah, metal head, um, that it'll stick and to cover that up because this will become a future pocket I said that previously I don't know if it recorded that sound voice volume whatever anyway so we're using my favorite glue it's just a piece of scrap card paper looks like card paper <laughs> oh my gosh y'all talk about a brainy day um 
It's just regular copy paper. Uh, seriously, that's all it is. So gluing that on, we're going to set it aside and let it dry for a while. And then I'll trim it and let it finish drying. So this is our second cap. This is the, the skull cap that's going to be on the outside. Uh, silver representative of my beautiful silver locks. Uh, or you could think of it as a dome chrome, you know, if you want to, too. And I'm uh, using a double-sided tape to just stick these magnets on. Um, I should have scooched a couple of them a little further away from the edge. But, you know, it's just that kind of how it goes. You know, I'm kind of straighten it out because it gets a little warpy, you know, when you get it wet and paint it. Oh, it's file folder. My bad. I didn't even tell you what it was. File folder. Uh, file folder face, two file folder craniums, and the uh, black is a cardstock. Good. And this is Tim Holtz tissue paper, which I think I forgot to put in the ingredients. Boy, we are just crawfishing all over. See, I did this a couple of days ago, and there's been things going on. So everything's fine. Anyway, fluid matte medium. On the inner cranium, outer cranium, on the inside of the outer cranium. <laughs> Y'all, I have a thick skull in areas, so my neurologist said. <laughs> I've seen it, so yeah, I, I would agree, but I wouldn't have noticed it, you know. Y'all just think that my joking around on hard, how hard-headed I am is a joke. It's no joke. It was just a section, but anyway. So we're sticking this down. And I'm going to rub it around with my finger and put some on top. I don't know if I show you me rub it around my fingers. Because I'm trying to smash it around the, uh, the magnets. Because it is a, a tissue paper. It will mold, form around a little bit. It will put wrinkles in there. But that's okay. It's inside the brain. No, ain't, no, ain't nobody going to see you in there. So, fluid matte medium. Smooshing it all down. And we'll set it aside to, uh, to dry. Also, uh, before you finish your project, I do suggest anything you collage down, you go around and you check the edges for any loose uh, edges. Just saying, okay? So, now we have some purple, lavender even, craft paints that we're going to paint inside the outside skull. <laughs> Y'all, this page... I wanted to make something interactive, you know, and at one time I did an artist trading card that had a piece of pie that went on and off, uh, you know, you could pull it on and off a, a plate. Anyway, so I, it's kind of what was in my mind. I was going to redo that. And then I thought, no, let's do a pie chart. This is in honor of pie day coming up, y'all, you know, on uh, March the 14th. Any hoobles? Uh, I thought, no, I don't want to do that. And then I thought the pie chart, I thought, oh, a color wheel color wheel pie chart hey well you know it's perfect and then you know i saw the images laying over on on the dining table i still got my brain on the kitchen table yeah <laughs> anyway i saw them and i thought oh i should make my brain a pie chart only instead of a chart of the sections of the brain it'd be about you know the way i think and junk so <laughs> Welcome to my unexpectedness of the world. Okay, so we have painted it. We've cut it apart because it's puzzle, y'all. It's puzzling in my head. It, it can be assembled mostly, sort of. So anyway, I collage that on and I'm like, oh, diddly dang, I forgot the, uh, the magnet. So now I'm sticking the magnets on. I'm using the double-sided tape again and just putting the magnets on top of them. I have to feel around my finger because I can't see the tape because it's see-through. So, uh, translucent even. So, I'm sticking them on there and then I'm just tearing off little bits of the uh, collage tissue there and sticking it on top of the magnets because I don't want the magnet to come loose. Well, I mean, it's not like anybody's going to be, you know, manhandling my brain too much, like, you know, hopefully. But, you know, I still don't want them to come loose <laughs> to magnets. So uh, here we are back to our black cardstock and we're using the face portion 
and uh it's gonna be a pocket too this was something i decided like just all of a sudden i'm like well this is big enough for a pocket <laughs> ah i have not put anything in it i may never put anything in it but we know it's there right you just got picked it now <laughs> oh goodness gracious the things, the things. See, just can't put it in the nose. That's all you got to do. So that's the fair size pocket there. So anyway, we're gluing that all down. We're going to put a little weight on. Oh, I'm finally going to get to use uh, one of my favorite backgrounds that I made. You know, we used that in Same Six Wednesday uh, in 2022. And uh, so anyway, I, I've tried to use it before, but it just didn't quite work out and uh so my face head it's a representation of my representation of my face it's not really my face anyway and it's out of so out of proportion for anybody's face probably should have scooted it a little further to the left but you know it's what it is serendipitous perfection i'm sure so we're gonna wait it down wait for it aka wait for it and I have printed out a legend for the different sections uh, in my brain. And they are not necessarily in uh, first come, first serve order. They are just mishmashed, kind of how my brain works. And uh, it the, the numbers coordinate with the uh, number of pi, 3.141592, blah, 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 more numbers, too many numbers kind of thing. And uh, because it's going to go inside the pocket that is now my head, I needed a floof on there. And because the outside of my skull is silver, because remember we painted it silver, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a silver floof -ful? Okay? Just saying because yeah so i'm trying to reinforce the coverage on the floofal and then at one point i decided the tag wasn't quite sturdy enough it felt too flippy floppy so i put another cardstock on the back where i can do some personal journaling if i wanted to do I mean, if i was inclined to so i'm like yeah that's looking kind of cool <laughs> uh so here's the title of this one. Mem brings a sort of pie chart. And it's got the number of pie, blah, blah, blah. So uh, instead of using a period for the dot, which is the obvious first choice, I went with an asterisk because I have an asterisk within my legend. And it just all kind of floated together in my brain like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. So okay so here is the puzzling pieces that are my brain and um the first one there oh well we're not even going in the correct order of pie are we? oh my gosh started from the back and moved forward or something i don't even know what we did okay anyway three represents the happy art and space Within that space, there is a subsection A for colors, B for texture, C for poiming, and D for old ideas, because they don't ever quite go away. Uh, number one is for watching my friends art, because that is really cool too. Number four is new ideas. Uh, number 15 is clearance shopping and thoughts of, can it be used to art with? Uh, nine is art video making, because, you know, it's there. It's in the forefront of my brain, it seems. Uh, two are afterthoughts, you know, like chores and food and cleaning. And um, so now this is the outside cranium. And I've got a couple of... Uh, little words or labels I printed out for that. Let me, let me pick this up. And it says, uh, the old hard membrane case, AKA Halo, it's Halo, y'all. <laughs> uh, and uh, then I say, you can tell because it's covered in silver. My hair is mostly silver white whatever same difference and it magnetizes onto the puzzling innards of my brain and here comes uh 
here it comes the earworm of musically <laughs> <laughs> y'all earworm because yeah okay that so at one point during one of the voiceovers that i did i talked about the uh paper clips and the fun noise they made and i said oh you can't hear it but you can because i have the page right here listen ah uh, we did another journal page at some time that had i think it had beaded trim on it and and it made a similar fun fun sound <laughs> y'all because i'm special and <laughs> this sort of basic simple idea really got complicated the more i played with it the more complicated it got sort of like my brain and uh it's puzzling <laughs> hey y'all because it doesn't even go in number order and or or anything because pie i don't i don't do math y'all i eat pie y'all knew that one was coming at some <laughs> silly ta-da photo montage ah uh, this voice or over voice or over has kind of uh turned out to be somewhat entertaining for me i hope it's been entertaining for you and opens up the idea that you too can make an interactive visual journal page okay if you want to you just kind of got to keep keep thinking about it one step at a time and yes the paper clips are probably a bit much you know with all that other business going on inside my brain but you know it's kind of how it is a lot of stuff going on in there and some of it makes noise and some of it's earworms and some of it's chrome domes <laughs> i don't know y'all i don't know anyways um yeah my interpretation of a mathematical uh equation pie <laughs> appreciate each and every one of you thanks for watching and happy arting y'all go eat some pie but not brains